this is what I've had to do to save my life. I've been threatened over a thousand times in the last 365 days, 24-7. These people are going to murder me. If I didn't leave town, so I went to New York as far as I can go. As far as I can go. All the way, 3,000 miles away, 13 states. And they still continue to threaten to murder me there. I have text messages, audio recordings, police reports, restraining orders, reports from Sacramento Family Courts, CPS, and the police. And multiple other government agencies. Deeming Sherry Lynn Meyer, my ex, is psychologically unsound, psychologically unfit, and putting our children in danger. They told me to go, go get immediate custody, which I did, on a case where she lied and got me arrested under 13DV00777, and I was at CPS due to Sherry making false allegations. She just made more false allegations, perjury, and forgery at the family courts, getting a domestic violence case against me, and stealing my angels, trying to, lying on every form that she submitted, or her lawyer, William F. McCullough, submitted to the courts. I was never served, and there's a lot of lies going on there. I need to have it investigated. I've had to get all these phones because they said if my phone died they're gonna murder me so these are all phones and power packs batteries and those are BB 17 cal trainers I'm legally allowed to carry that I have over 17 police reports against Sherry Lynn Meyer Mark Dion Meyer and Matt Williams that's in 2014 2013 2014 and She's been in violation of my, of my custodial orders when she abducted my angels one year ago. She has 207 deprivation of custodial orders to the courts right now for not allowing me my 50% when I granted her and gifted her 50%. She did not do any of the counseling classes. I did all 20. She did not do any of the drug testing and passed them. She failed every single one all 12 I passed on mine she did not do the psychological evaluation I did mine and passed and she did not do the drug and alcohol evaluation I did and passed mine I still gifted her 50% we we're gonna work it out she also stole the truck took it out of my name illegally and I have everything documented for the last three years since I gifted her 50% custody the custody orders are 50 50 Restraining orders were to be dropped, even though all charges have been dismissed for all of the allegations and all the domestic violence orders, um, lies that she got me arrested on. Her dad also set me up on a trailer, making me have a criminal record. Two weeks later, I was at CPS for false allegations. The CPS lady questioned me and all three angels, our three angels. She knew right away that it was lies this is Ronald Lee Brown Jr. protecting myself once again. I have to protect myself over and over against evil, wicked ways. Evil never pays in the right ways, ever. Good always prevails. I love you. I love you, angels. I've protected myself and documented with every government agency from here to New York <laughs> damn near this is Ronald Lee Brown Jr. I don't know what I look like this is me
Jack you. Sign it off. That's what I'm left with. I lost everything. My angels, we lost our home at 55 Shrine Way. I'm getting a statement. Because Sherry let Matt know where we live. He vandalized my home. My vehicle on the property, getting us evicted. I've also got Sherry a place to live right next to us. She got evicted from there also because she wouldn't follow Dan, Uncle Dan's order. One rule, stay away from Matt. Uh, there's so much more, but this is just to do a quick spiel. I got two 17 cal trainers, one, two, two headlamps, two binoculars, or one binocular, one monocular, one, two, three. I got three, I actually got four motorcycle batteries, two speakers which char can charge off of those, power pack, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight flashlights, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine phones, and a tablet, extra battery packs, um, and that's what this is what I have now that didn't get burned up when I have uh, two laptops over there full of documentation. This is what I have now because um, my place just got burned down. They said they're gonna burn my place down, and I went to work, came back, everything I had was burned to the ground, everything, which I got that all documented too. I took pictures, documented everything. All right, I love you. It's Ronald Brown Jr. Saving my life. Once again, just last night, I was threatened to be murdered again. It's craziness.